Hi there, welcome back to Wedge Your Way. It's Nefertiti here. In this video, I will be showing you guys a very inexpensive way to add color and pop to your event, your engagement party, your wedding, whatever it is that you're having, this is good if you guys are going to do toasts or something of that nature. For my engagement party, I knew that I wanted to use plastic wear, and so I knew that exactly where I was going to get the plastic champagne glasses from which was the Dollar Tree. They come six for a pack. This is exactly what they look like. This is exactly what I used. And so in this video, I'm showing you guys how you can do that. So stay tuned. So for this video, all you're going to need is the champagne glasses or flutes of your choice. Anything that has a bottom that is removable will be a lot more easier but then again if you're very precise and you have a good eye you can use a glass or a flute that doesn't have a removable bottom and just make sure that you aim your paint for the bottom and not the rest of the glass so I am going to be using metallic finished paint in the color gold and I'm also going to be using color master in the color Oxford blue so these are the two choices of paint that I choose to use whatever you use is up to you just as long as um, it will stay that's literally all that matters I prefer to do this outdoors I don't do it inside because I find that the smell is very toxic and it could literally make your whole house smell like this paint so I just try to do it outside and another quick tip is don't do it on a day if you're going to do it outside don't do it on a day where it's going to be obviously rainy or super windy because then your paint will actually wrinkle and you don't want that you definitely want a smooth finish so if it's going to be very windy or rainy your paint will not come out smooth and the bottom of your champagne flutes will look like you actually painted them and we don't want that so stay tuned to see exactly how I do this all right guys so I have masked off the place where I'm actually going to be painting because you obviously don't want to get paint in places that don't belong I told you guys I'm doing this outside so I'm literally on my back deck I've had my husband mask this off so we don't mess up our pretty paint um, all right, so I have my champagne flutes or my wine glasses, whatever you want to call them here. And I really like the ones from the Dollar Tree. If you don't have a Dollar Tree in your area, um, then you can obviously just see if, see if you can find something similar somewhere else if you actually are looking for plastic and want to use these. But I like the ones from the Dollar Tree because you can literally just remove the tops of the, the glasses and then you can focus on the bottom, which is what we're doing today. So I'm literally just going to take this and move that somewhere else we're actually going to be painting the bottom of these. This is what's going to give us our event, our engagement party, our wedding, whatever it is that you're having, we're, this is what it's going to give us the pop that we were looking for. So as you can see, I'm just separating these and just putting them out so I can actually have an opportunity to paint them. So I'm just gonna separate three and three. I'm gonna color three golds and I'm going to color three in Oxford blue so you guys can actually see the difference um, and how these will actually look with two different colors. All right, so I have my paint here, my spray paint. I'm going to be starting with gold. And so for that matter, you definitely want to go ahead and shake your spray paint, whatever directions are on the can, you definitely want to follow that. And like I said, if it's super windy outside or some type of weather that doesn't make any sense, like rain or snow, you definitely want to don't want to do that, um, this type of a project in that type of weather. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start spraying these. And then literally when I'm done, I'm going to let them dry overnight. So if you would like to leave them outside, or take them somewhere else it's up to you I leave mine outside and I come back for them the next day so you guys will actually see what they look like when they're actually finished and dried and all that good stuff if you hear dogs barking if you hear people talking I'm definitely outside so sorry for that but we're gonna get right into this video now the bottom of the glasses have dried so I'm just going to replace the tops and show you what it looks like when it has some fluid in it And voila, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and as always, I'll see you guys on the inside.